What's up guys, it's Paul from Non-Apple Fan here and I thought I would talk to you a little bit about RTX Super. There's more leaks, rumors, all that kind of stuff. Just thought I'd talk to you about the, you know, the kind of the believability factor, what it's what what it tends to be. Wait till they actually launch before you believe anything, to be honest. But yeah, um I have said that RTX Super could make the RX 5700 series look stupid, right? And um, I f it's funny, go watch this video from PC Perspective last night. They had um, two AMD guys on talking about their the CPU side and the GPU side. And um, the GPU guy was very defensive. He was very, uh, you know, defending his points, defending the blower style cooler, defending everything else. And look, I understand that. And I understand that you're from a company and you need to do all that kind of stuff. But but fundamentally, he, he it's almost like he knows. He's got kind of a, I didn't want to price them this way. I didn't want to do this. And now I'm forced to say, go out in front of the public and, and, and speak to the to the way these are going to go. And if, if these r rumors are true about Super now, this makes, uh, you know, um, and, and the, the actual dates of embargo lifting, this makes uh, the RX 5700 series stupid. It makes it have serve no purpose, and essentially, it's it's game over, man. Game over. Nvidia have just checkmated AMD, and I hate saying that. The reason why I, people get upset when I say this because people think to th tend to think that I'm not on AMD side. No, I wanted AMD to sell cards, regain market share, become a player in the GPU space again because they've been pretty much edged out and pushed off to the side. And if AMD eventually don't sell enough cards, right? If they don't sell enough GPUs, they will go away. They will go. Let's just sell consoles, boys, and forget about everybody else. Let's sell consoles and APUs and just fuck the desktop graphics card market. I am pretty confident that the only reason why we're getting desktop GPUs right now, the only reason we're getting them is because they're pipe cleaners, because they're using them to refine a process, basically. Other than that, we wouldn't be getting desktop GPUs anymore. That's how much AMD have given up on the desktop market. And it's it fundamentally shown by every single generation, they kind of fall a little bit more further behind NVIDIA. If you look at the way, like if you look from Fury onwards, so Fury X, kind of competed with the 980 ti it was 50 quid cheaper but almost as fast right then um you know vega came out and vega kind of competed with the 1080 little bit cheaper arguably kind of the same price and um you know slightly slower now you've got you know rx 5700 xt kind of competing with the 2070 so and they're saying that this is their flagship. So I've got to take them at the word. I personally believe it's a replacement for Polaris. But I've got to take them at the word, right? So I've got to say what they say. So they've gone from competing with a, a TI class, the next generation down, they've gone competing with a, with, a, with a 1080 class, and now they're competing with a 70 class, which I know, I know deep down fundamentally in my heart is a fucking 60 class card rebranded now i think it might probably possibly was a 60 ti card and maybe i'll do a video where i talk about all of the kind of where the the nvidia scaling where the nvidia stack should have been if they'd have named them properly and how they would have done it when the t when the super cards launch or maybe i'll just do it now because you've got all the stack on top so i might do it like you know maybe the next video today so wait for that subscribe for that but essentially what you can see with this super lineup, and I'll show you that now in a minute, is um, NVIDIA launching cards that probably should have been launched at launch day, but they kept them back because they wanted to hit the specific, in my opinion, they wanted to hit specific performance that would make them look bad in, in relation to the Pascal cards so they could sell a hook ton of Pascal cards, but while making them look good because they're offering you that extra feature, which is ray tracing, right? And, um, you know, so you've got your choice. Take the non-ray tracing card or take the ray tracing card. But, you know, they can both compete. One is, one is a bit cheaper. And then everybody would go off and buy the Pascal cards. Voila, no inventory problem anymore. Voila, now it's time to sell all of my cards cheaper and drop the prices on them. But they're NVIDIA and they're not going to drop the prices by much. And we know this. Um, I was worried when I heard this, the RTX 2060 Super could have been 429. But this is from video cards. And they say that it's actually going to be, and I'll show you now, it's actually going to be uh, 430, 4, 499. So, oh, sorry, 399. So, 399 is not that bad, um, you know, in, in relation to where I thought this would fall. 
um, it is terrible in relation to what we used to get. Um, the, the the 2060 is not going to drop in price. The 399 is better than what I thought it would be, but not as good as I was ho I was hoping for. So I was hoping they may drop this to 300 and drop this to 350. And yeah, they're they're right because you've got no competition. I'd be like, well, they're actually value to be honest, because this card is is quite fast. And um, you know, the 2070 Super is. Um, essentially what what should have been it is in a proper 70 class card it's got 2560 stream processors or cuda cores so this is this is where what should have been the original super and when you think about this this is probably going to be it's got four extra compute units sms it's got four extra sms it's got a 256 extra compute units compute units, stream processors god damn it stream processors got 256 extra stream processors and it's going to have a, an extra it's going to have a bigger memory bus so you would imagine this would catch up to like it will be somewhere between a 1080 and a 1080 ti almost as fast as a 1080 ti while the you know the new uh the rtx 2080 will is is just barely beating a 1080 1080 ti and then you've got the new super which has two two uh extra sms or um you know uh, 128 extra uh, CUDA cores and that's going to be beating a 1080 Ti pretty handily it's going to be sitting but it's not going to come anywhere you know anywhere near these guys these guys are off in the stratosphere but uh, yeah so the big issue with these guys is that unless you've got a big beefy aftermarket one they tend to t tend to throttle so um you know because this has got so many stream processors it tends to throttle so you need to have a decent cooler to get get make the best of it but this is um this is this is where you can see the value uh, in the market is just gone you can see it like you know the, these are tu106 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 um you know this is like like i've told you a tu why why is this a, a tu106 and this is a tu104 and yet they're both tw 2070s like the, the, this is stupid and you can see it there this was supposed to be a 60 card you know 106s have historically been the 60 card 104s have historically been historically been the 80 and the you know and so you can see now this is this is a this is what should have been the 80 class card this is what should have been the uh, you know i'm just going to do it now this is what should have been the 80 class card this is what should have been the maybe the the the, the 2070 ti class card this is what should have been the 2070 yeah and this is what should have been the 2060 2060 ti you would imagine this is what should have been the 2060 and this is what should have been the 2060 3 gigabyte uh, the 1063 gigabyte replacement in other words the, the the you know the the uh cut down 2060 die this is what it should have been and and you can see that they kept these in 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 reserve because where would they price them with the previous generation of pricing and how would they force people to buy pascal cards you know so this is clearly what that was done for and uh, this is on them um, uh, you know videocards.com if you want to go look at it yourself uh but i wonder how accurate this pricing is if this pricing is accurate then great but if it's not we shall see fundamentally uh nobody wins even when this comes out because um rx 5700s are doing for they're actually like like that i guarantee you i 100 percent guarantee you that 2176 S uh, uh, sorry uh, CUDA cores is faster than um you know two 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 thousand three hundred and four from AMD I guarantee it and um you know a core parity two thousand five hundred and sixty which is core core parity with um with uh AMD it's going to be much faster like like five or ten percent faster so um two thousand one hundred and 76 which is the 2060 super it's probably just gonna pull ahead of the 5700 just a little bit like just an a nub and above and then the you know the the 2070 super is gonna be the, the the 5700 xt and i don't need to see benchmarks to know that amd's own benchmarks are always a little bit skewed to amd so they've showed they win some they lose some uh overall they beat the 2070 by six percent and by the way clarification from that video that i was talking about pc perspective uh i know pc perspective pc world it was pc world they were on um i don't know whether pc said pc's perspective earlier on pc world they were on doing their uh, you know their kind of the full nerd is the, the, the show they do but um he clarified that the benchmarks were using 
uh, 20, uh, 2070 uh, Founders Edition, which is actually the higher clocking part and the better silicon part. So that tends to be a 5% faster than the normal 2070 that you would get for 500 quid. So he was arguing that it's a $600 card. So, but I would argue that they've discontinued them and now they're selling all of their 2070s. Uh, with the proper silicon so um that was that's a null and void issue uh they they completely disinvoid now you could still end up buying one to be honest you could still end up buying the one that doesn't clock as good or whatever but you know there's, there's like a b grade silicon going around with 70s and 80s but that's all been washed up that's all done now and um for me people just buy nvidia and we know that we know that people just buy nvidia we know that people just buy Nvidia no matter what happens, no matter what AMD offer. And I said it before and I said it again, this was their only opportunity to come to market with something that was very cheap, very affordable, looking uh, with the with the with the kind of the onus on disrupting the GPU market and you know bringing sanity back. So if you if you'd have launched a three hundred and fifty quid and a three hundred quid card that performed like the cards do now, because you don't have ray tracing. That would be a huge big boon to the gpu market and people are gonna go oh but ray tracing is shit and i know ray tracing is shit but it doesn't matter because if you look at the the standard joe blogs in the street he looks at one card saying ray tracing and the other card saying not ray tracing he goes for the ray tracing one it's unfortunately that's the way it works and i know that that i don't want that i want amd to be successful i want them to sell cards but they don't sell cards and the fundamental reason why is because they always overlook guilt edge fucking amazing opportunities to sell their cards and this was a beautiful opportunity nvidia had fucked up the market nvidia had fucked away all of their you know previous goodwill with all of their consumers there were so many nvidia fans so fucking angry and i seen it in my comment section i seen it every day and i see it all the time now fuck nvidia i'm done with nvidia i'm not gonna buy a video i'm gonna buy a console fuck them fuck them fuck them fuck them fuck them and as soon as the rx 5700 launched you seen the opposite you seen well i guess i'm gonna have to buy a 2070 now and i hate this kind of talk because i'm like well you've taught them nothing then go buy your 2070 and teach them nothing and it's gonna be fine but this is the way people think and it's just like well fuck them now like amd have done us no favors blah 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 and some people would argue well you know they're gonna we, they were just hoping for amd to launch something so they would drop the nvidia prices and they buy the nvidia prices well do you know sometimes that's a good thing because nvidia drops the prices you buy them at the new price nvidia see a price spike and they go well actually maybe i will actually go and launch our cards at that price next time because nobody bought them at the previous generation prices but at this new generation new, this new price they're actually buying them so maybe we should have launched them at this all along and been selling them for this price all along it does teach them something but it doesn't teach them the, the fundamental fact which is if amd had come with amazing architecture which they have um you know really dedicated to gaming architecture which it is navi is that worries and concerns about power draw but amd have never had an incentive to drop power draw or work on efficiencies right they just haven't right as a, you're building a box which is a console it's going to be plugged into the wall all the time no need to do it they have very little presence in the laptop space no need to get their power efficiency done nvidia went after the laptop space that's why Ma that's why maxwell got the power efficiency so well so so good because and that's why nvidia are in almost every game in laptop because they're so power efficient but amd have no kind of emphasis on going after that they've no they've no need to yet and hopefully now with the samsung deal maybe they might do something with that and um, but we shall see but uh the power draw is a big worry for me on navi but other than that everything else is wonderful except for the price the price is the biggest fail of all because they could have stored up so much positive sentiment sentiment they could have made so many people happy they could have gotten so many nvidia fans to come on board and buy an avi card and so many uh people have been talking to their friends saying look at look at the look at the frames for a second i'm getting here on this game and it, it's running an amd card it's 350 quid it's faster than a 500 quid nvidia card and yeah nvidia can drop the prices on them as well but it doesn't matter you've already gained the goodwill you've already gained that kind of market share you've already gained that that you know that disruptiveness in the market you've changed people's minds people start to think well jesus amd are on our side they're for gamers and that's what really pained me about the you know lisa sue came out and she kept talking about we're all for gamers we really love gamers we love gamers this is all about gamers 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 and then she launched a 750 euro gaming cpu right fantastic value for money by the way i just want to say that but not for a gaming cpu because it's just not and it's not and that's marketing bullshit it's hype it's bollocks it's not a gaming cpu it's just not 
but she had the audacity to tell gamers that this is a gaming CPU. Like, and there are fucking idiots out there who will go out and buy that and think they're going to get better frames per second than buying the 3800X or the 3700X and overclocking it to similar, similar performance. Granted, I've heard that there's been dies on that, so that makes sense. But still, 750 quid for a gaming CPU is bollocks. And she called it a consu in, in a consumer socket because she doesn't lie to you. Like, she, that's, that's pretty much in a consumer socket. She didn't say it's a consumer CPU because you cannot call a 750, $750 cpu a consumer cpu or a mainstream CPU. it's just not it's fucking hedt prices that's what it is you know what i mean and it's it's pro it's, it's prosumer prices so but she came out and she had that oh that's the, and then like we're on gamer side we're on gamer side and then they launch a 500 quid graphics card and i'm like go fuck yourself seriously go fuck yourself your cut down version your replacement for the rx 5700 which is a currently 130 euro 130 euro 130 dollar graphics card is 379 dollars your replacement for an rx 5700 which is currently 180 90 dollars is a fucking five hundred dollar graphics card and now you're saying oh well it's replacement for vegas replacement for vega well that's true then you've took two years to make the smallest terrible incremental upgrade ever this is a bad upgrade it's a bad bad upgrade and you're getting no value because if you had a vega you wouldn't upgrade to this so it's for nobody it's a bullshit bullshit upgrade for nobody it makes no sense to anybody and i challenge anybody in my comments to tell me the reason why this makes sense because it doesn't it doesn't make sense it's not going to sell and now you've got rtx super coming out and making fucking sense making sense and amd have made them make sense these prices do not make sense we would look at these previously and go these are fucking ripoff cards but now they're making nvidia the robbing bastard nvidia look like fucking value and that's wrong that should never happen amd should never make a make nvidia or intel look like value they just shouldn't AMD have always brought you more value. AMD have never locked things behind paywalls, and that's why I'm a fan of them. That's why I like them, and that's why I want to see them succeed. Because succeed, because they never did that. They always gave away their open software suites. They always gave away free stuff, and maybe at their detriment they did that. But they always did this stuff to, to and that's why they've got so many fans. That's why they've got so many ardent people willing to defend them. But they've pissed all that goodwill away by doing what they've done with Navi. So many people were waiting on Navi to sort the fucking GPU market out, and now rtx super is 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 doing more to sort the gpu market out even though it's not really sorting it out it's fucking outrageous like a 60 card a 350 quid a better 60 card a 399 quid which would have previously been called the 2060 ti or whatever right a, a, a bogus name 2070 which should be the actual 2060 ti for 500 quid and you know what i mean like what the fuck what the fuck? Like, the the, 20, the 2070 at least will probably be 450 quid now. So, that's 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 a good thing, I suppose. The 2070 is 450 quid. So, it's the same price as the, as the uh, RTX uh, 2700 XT. Or 5700 XT. And you're going to look at that and you're going to say, Yeah, that one has ray tracing you might not buy it you might not think it's a good idea you might not think it's amazing but if you're looking at two cards that one's more power efficient that one uh, is cooler and quieter that one has a decent cooler that one comes with the same amount of vram it just looks like a better buy to me it just does and they're the same price and there's five percent in the difference in performance one has ray tracing one has five percent faster uh, frames frames per second mm -hmm. You know, it's up to you. Buy what you want to buy, but I would be leaning to it. If I was a consumer, now I can't ever buy an NVIDIA card because they're, they're just dickheads. But if, you, if I was a consumer, I'd be looking at 2070 going, and that's sad. That's fucking sad. AMD have made a big, gigantic mistake, and I will never stop saying it. Never. Like, was I okay with Vega 64 being 500 quid? Absolutely. fucking I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to be somebody who talks bullshit 500 quid for a vega 64 was good good mo good money back in the day problem was it never cost that because of crypto mining and because of you know vram shortages hbm shortages was i okay with a vega 56 costing 399 quid yes absolutely because it beat a card that was a 70 card priced pretty much where 70 cards usually are maybe 50 quid more expensive but it was faster and it was a little bit more expensive and that was fine it was fine but this shit is not fine it's just not because this is lying to you this is remove this is changing a name of a card changing the position in the market of a card to to reflect uh you know a two-year 
you know, de you know a two-year lack of being in the market. They've gone back to the drawing board, re-engineered their, and you have to pay for it now. 500 fucking quid. Fucking outrageous. Anyway, like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. But if you disliked it, tell me why you disliked it. Because I can't fix it if I don't know what I did wrong. Let me know. Do you think that RTX Super is going to sell more than Navi? Because I think it's going to absolutely demolish it. Na Navi has no, po no reason to exist anymore. No reason. It doesn't make sense. Every one of these cards is better value across the board. And that's sad. It's sad to say that. I don't want to say that. But it's true. The thirty foot, the the three hundred and fifty dollars for a card that's slower than the fifty seven hundred, but it's cheaper. You know what I mean? Three hundred ninety nine dollars, slightly more expensive, but going to be a little bit faster. Three, uh, sorry, I'll go from the start to stack. Yeah, so two, yeah, set twenty seventy four hundred and fifty dollars probably because if, if this if these rumors are true, this is going to be far, the the super is going to be uh, four nine nine, so that has to be four fifty really, doesn't it? Going to smash the front face in, smash the face in, of the, the, RX fifty seven hundred XT. Not because it's faster, but because it has more features, and people actually look at those boxes and go, "Oh, let's go see the ray tracing," which I think is stupid, but that's what's going to happen. So, and it's it's more power efficient, and it, you know, it's cooler, and it, it's better cooler, and it just makes more sense to me. I, you know, I'm. And, and you know what his response, this is what kills me, just before I end the video, just before I end the video, I'm going to end the video after this. What kills me is that guy, I wish I fucking remembered his name, he said, the reason why we don't give, we don't give actual killers on these is because, um, you know, I don't trust some gamers to kill their PCs, while I trust most enthusiasts to kill their PCs who know how to kill their PCs, I don't trust everybody. So he's being fucking, he's, and, and I just call bullshit on that, I call, no, you're lying, you're lying bollocks, you're lying, you went with the blower style cooler because it's cheaper, and that's the truth, you went with the blower style cooler because it's cheaper, tell the fucking truth, don't tell lies, don't blow smoke up my arse, don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining, it is fucking there because it's cheaper simple you use less fucking copper you use less aluminum you use less fans you cover the whole thing in a plastic shroud happy days way well, hey, done you don't have to make a big aluminum fin stack and fucking heat pipes and all that shit because because if it's hidden in a shroud you can't see the amount of aluminium and copper in there you can't so makes sense to use a blower style killer i don't trust some people you know they're gonna put it in their piece fuck off at 500 quid nobody does that nobody does that not one person that buys a 500 quid graphics card goes and buys that and puts it in their system and doesn't know how to kill their system. Not one fucking person. You try and tell me that people go out there and they build PCs and they buy 500 quid graphics cards and they put them in. They don't know. They don't never look at a YouTube video. Go fuck yourself. Seriously, go fuck yourself. You try and tell me that somebody's gonna buy a Dell PC that doesn't usually support AMD graphics cards when you just slot them in. It's gonna buy a Dell OEM PC and put it in and not know it. 500, 500. Fuck off. 500 quid. They're gonna buy a 200 quid graphics card maximum. They're the people. That's bollocks. That's a lie. It's a fucking lie. Anyway. Talk to you later. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, do all the liking and all that kind of stuff. Sharing is the most important thing. I'm going to press this button to stop recording. I have a Patreon if you want to do that. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.